Hello and welcome to another Miss Alley Cat DIY video. Today I thought it would be so much fun to show you how I organize my Dollar Tree stickers. This is also useful for stickers in general, not just Dollar Tree. But I wanted to take you along with me as I make this mini sticker book using Dollar Tree products and show you some other organizational tips for stickers. So let's get on into this video. Okay, so another way that I like to organize my Dollar Tree stickers, this is mostly for planner stickers, is I have this, so this is a binder from Dollar Tree. I'll be getting to that in a second. I have this binder with all of my Dollar Tree planner stickers in it. And I just have um, sheet protectors in here, so it's really self-explanatory. And on one side of the sheet protector, I have this sheet. Because in the pack at Dollar Tree, you get two sheets. So I put one of the sheets on one side and the other one on the other side. So I can easily see all the stickers. However, you're getting a little bit big. <laughs> so I decided today I would go through them real quick and put them in this three ring binder that I just picked up from the Dollar Tree. And it's pink and it's super cute so I am super excited to do that. So I think I'm going to start with putting seasonal planner stickers from Dollar Tree in this book just because it's kind of a summery color. I don't know. I guess seasonal isn't just summer obviously but that's what makes sense in my head so I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Help to open it. the two binders and they're a lot more manageable now and so how I've kind of done it is in this binder I have like stickers that I do still like obviously but I don't reach for as much like for instance this pack I, I do love but the colors aren't quite the ones that I love a lot so they're in this book. And then this one is more of a specific thing. Like it's more towards like uh, wellness. So actually, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up. This is a work in progress like always, but I'm going to go ahead and put this next to like this fitness pack, which I will admit I mean, I just got it, but I don't see myself using it as much as some other sheets. So I have these in here. Like I said before, not really any particular way. It's just these are the ones that I'll reach for less. And in this book, So I put these stickers that I absolutely love in here and how I did it was kind of more springy colors towards the front and as the further back we go, see that's still pretty springy, but the further back the more summertime it is like I said it's just what made sense in my head you can organize it however you would like I just thought I'd like to show you all this and yeah so I put like definitely summer stickers in the back so that is how I organized these sticker books super easy and you don't have to get the binder at Dollar Tree but I think that's a pretty good price for a binder and it's decent quality too. I 
So something else I do in my binder is I have a sheet protector with some wax paper and this way I can put on the wax paper stickers I don't end up using. I like to do this a lot of times when I'm organizing my stickers. I like to have wax paper so that I can put my not used stickers on the wax paper to use at a later time. And just so you know, the stickers to my left are stickers I've had since my childhood. So I'm not entirely sure where you get those. Another way that I like to organize my Dollar Tree stickers and other stickers is on, I have a sticker wall that is located right next to my um, like planner desk, right next to my computer desk. And this way I can easily access stickers that I use all the time. And so what I've done is I have clear um, sheet protectors that are hanging on these like command strip dupes. You can get these hooks at the Dollar Tree. And yeah, so I have in each of these sheet protectors different categories. Like for instance, right here I have all of my alphabet stickers. I have like plants and wildlife in that one animals in this guy here. I use lots of hearts so I like them easily accessible. And then I have a bunch of puffy stickers just because they take up a lot of space in like binders and stuff. The other two categories aren't perfect. Um, it's a work in progress. I just have some Happy Planner stickers down there and in here I have some rub-on transfers. So those are a work in progress and I often change these out so that I can access stickers that I need at the moment. So I hope this little tidbit was helpful. So the next way that I organize my Dollar Tree stickers is I got one of these binders from the Dollar Tree and I want to show you how I make a sticker book with this. So the first thing you want to do is I have these Dollar Tree sticker books and I'm just taking them apart, just kind of ripping it so that I don't wreck any of the stickers but I am removing all the pages from the actual book and the very last page is blank so I just discard that one and I did that to all of my Dollar Tree sticker books to make even better organized books with these. And I just want to say this is not my idea. I have seen other people do this, but I wanted to show you how I personally organized my stickers. Once I had done that to all the Dollar Tree sticker books I own, I did go through and organize all of these sticker pages in groups that makes sense to me. So I have like a pile that is um, quotes, I have a pile with like animals or boxes or black and gold. So it's just what makes sense to me so you can organize them however it makes sense to you. And now because the pages are just a little bit too tall like I am showing you, we need to take those pages and just kind of trim off the top and also makes it look a little bit more polished. So now that's all I am doing. I'm taking one of these pages, one of these sticker pages as an example. I am just going to um, trim it right above where the stickers are on this sticker page and yep just trim it and that way it can fit nicely in our sticker book and I did that to all of these sticker pages that came from these Dollar Tree sticker books. So to make the pages, what I did was I had some cardstock paper that I laid horizontal and then I cut out strips of paper around two or three inches. Now I'm just taking a pin on each of those strips that I cut out and I'm marking where the um, hole punch for the binder should be. So now that's what I'm doing. I'm just taking this single punch and punching where I marked for the holes and I do this to all of the strips of paper that we just made. 
if you have a hole punch that is specifically designed for a mini three ring binder that does make it a lot faster I had an older hole punch that I was able to change the size of the binder that it was for so I made it the size of a three ring binder and that made it a lot easier to punch these out quickly okay so the fun part begins so I've got my sticker sheets from Dollar Tree I've already put them in like piles I tend to buy Dollar Tree stickers in pairs of two that way I have two sheets of each sticker it just is what I like to do I think that they don't give you enough <laughs> but it's still a dollar so I like to get another one so now I'm taking a um, glue stick and I'm just gonna go ahead and put glue on um, this thin piece of paper that we just punched out and I'm not putting the glue over the holes I'm just putting it to like the right of the hole and now I'm gonna go ahead and take one of my sticker sheets and just simply glue it down just pressing it down so that it completely sticks to that paper and I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over now you totally could do just single sheets you could just glue one sticker sheet to the strip of paper that works perfectly fine but like I was saying I like to buy my Dollar Tree stickers in doubles like in two <laughs> so that's what I'm doing I'm grabbed the exact same sticker sheet and now I'm going to go ahead and glue it to the back so I've put glue on that strip of paper and on the um, sticker sheet that we just glued down I'm just trying to line it up as perfectly as I can and then I'm gonna go ahead and make sure to press that whole thing down so that it is completely secure so I went ahead and did this same process to all of my stickers from Dollar Tree that are this size however I do have other stickers from Dollar Tree of course that are smaller so all I did was I went ahead and I glued down one of those smaller sticker sheets to that strip of paper and I'm simply going to just cut that strip of paper so that it is the same size as my sticker sheet and you can do the same thing that we did for the other sticker sheet if you have doubles you could glue that to the other side of that one now that I have all of my sticker sheets glued down and put in my book and this is another book by the way but I did want to make some tabs for my sticker sheet so I cut out some paper that was six and a fourth inches by eight and a half I am using cardstock so it's more heavy duty for the tabs you also could like laminate it and stuff but I don't have a laminator anywho the goal for the size of the paper is you want it the exact size of the binder so you want it bigger than your sticker sheets are but you don't want it so big that when you close the binder it sticks out so basically you want to be able to see the tab when you open the book but not so large that it sticks um, past the size of the binder when you close it I hope that makes sense but you can see what I'm doing in the video so now that I have that piece of paper cut out I'm gonna go ahead and start making some tabs now I did cut out paper enough for as many categories as I want so however many categories of stickers that you have in your book or books that's how many pieces of paper you will need so for this first tab I went ahead and drew a line where I want to cut it where I want the tab to be so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do I'm just cutting out that tab like I said it's not perfect but I think it does the job and I'm just putting it in here so that you can see what it's supposed to look like see how it sticks further out than the stickers but not so far that when you close it it's sticking out so to make more tabs what I ended up doing is I have the tab the piece of paper we just cut out and I lined it up perfectly with the other paper that we have there now 
and then moved it down so I knew where my tab, my next tab should be. I drew a line on the bottom of that and then on the top of that, kind of like our template, so that I knew where the next tab should be and where I don't want to cut. So now I'm just going to go ahead and simply cut out this second tab where we drew the lines um, is where we don't want to cut it because that is where the tab is. So that's all I'm doing is cutting on both sides of where we drew the line. So as you can see this is how I made my tabs and I just continued the same process to make as many tabs as needed. And I know they're not perfect, but like I said, they do the job and I was able to use pretty colors of paper that match my blue binder from Dollar Tree. So this next part is optional, but I think it's so cool because I'm making a waxed paper sheet for the back of our sticker book. This way, if you pull a sticker like I often do and then go, wait a minute, I don't really need to use that sticker but I don't want to waste that sticker. Now you can put it on this wax paper sheet and you can save it for later. So I have my piece of paper, all of the sizes and everything will be in the description box below. It's the same size that we've been cutting out. Um, and then I have a piece of wax paper larger than my piece of paper just cause that was easier for me to do. So I'm going to go ahead and take some glue from a glue stick and I'm putting that all on this piece of paper. Doesn't really matter what side, in fact we're going to do this to both sides, but I'm just putting glue over the whole entire thing. Then I go ahead and I put that glued side down onto the waxed paper and I'm just going to go ahead and press that down so that it is secure. Now with my paper trimmer, you totally could use scissors, um, but I'm just going to go ahead and line that up and trim off the excess wax paper. And I do this all the way around this piece of paper. I did end up having to take scissors just to trim it um, a little bit closer, uh, so just keep that in mind. I did have to do that. Once it was trimmed up and everything, I am going to go ahead and hole punch those holes out. I am using my older style hole punch that I was able to make the right size for a mini binder, but you totally can use a single hole punch like I showed you earlier. I did end up doing that same process to both sides of this paper, but you totally could just do one side if you want. Now I'm just showing you what it looks like in my binder and kind of just pretending like I'm taking off a sticker that I ended up not using. So it sticks right on the wax paper quite easily and then I can remove that whenever I need it. So now I'm going to go ahead and assemble this sticker book. Oh, it's exciting! I put the wax paper at the back of the book and now I'm just going to go ahead and put those tabs in. I'm going to just kind of leave for a second and I will be right back. Oh, and by the way, those emoji stickers are not from Dollar Tree. Honestly, I'm not sure where they're from, but I really love them. And yeah, I wanted to put them in my sticker book. Now with the different categories that I came up with, it's just what made sense in my head. You totally could make whatever categories you want. Like I'm showing you here, I have a label that says emojis. You also could just write it right on the tabs with a pin. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and place those on all of my tabs. Here is an example of the other sticker book I ended up making. I love how this one turned out. I think it honestly turned out a little bit better than the other one. So I wanted to show you it. 
but I love them both. It makes it so easy to reach for whatever sticker I want from Dollar Tree. So we've reached the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. I had so much fun putting all of this together. Like I said in the beginning, I have seen some of these ideas before, so I'm not like the original creator of them, but I wanted to put on my own spin of these ideas. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please feel free to pounce on that like button and hit subscribe. And if you would like to see more videos like this from me and hauls and even more, please consider clicking on that notification bell to be notified the next time I upload a new video. Hope you have an absolutely wonderfully perfect day. Until next time, this is Miss Alley Cat DIY signing off. And as you can see, I'm doing a flip through of both of those little sticker books that we made. So if you want to see that, just continue to watch. Anywho, bye!